Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to explore the Google Maps API client that I created. Google Maps probably doesn't need any introduction to anyone, but just in case, it is a mapping platform and it has dozens of APIs. By dozens, I really mean like 18, I think. So they have a lot of APIs and they have the platform split up into all those different APIs. You just basically subscribe to what you want. So just like with all my other API clients that I've put out there, this started out as something that we use at work. We actually use it uh, as a fallback to GeoCodio. So if GeoCodio doesn't give us an accurate and enough result, we just fall back to Google Maps and try to get whatever's there and go with that. Uh, we also use, so we use the geocoding uh, in that scenario. And then we also use the uh, distance matrix to calculate mileage and travel time uh, between our main office and our job sites. So let's, I guess let's just jump right into it. We're just going to look at an example, my trusty little API example program. We are going to geocode the White House. Then we are going to reverse geocode the White House. And then we'll get the elevation information for the White House. And then the time zone for the White House. And lastly, we are going to get the uh, distance matrix between the White House and the U.S. State Capitol building. So let's dive right into it. So here we are. We've, we've got the geocode, lat long. And then here's the reverse. I believe it actually sends back multiple results on the reverse. So it depends on what you're reverse geocoding. And then here's the elevation. They are almost 18 meters above sea level. And then the time zone. EST and then the distance matrix. Let's see, so, so two miles between the White House and the U.S. State Capitol building, or about 12 minutes by car. Yeah, by car. And that's it. I only implemented those four APIs into, into the client. I didn't really have a need for any of the other ones, but I guess if there's um, a need for it I'll update the client in the future and that's it you can find the client on NuGet here it is and you can find the source code on the github repository here so that's it uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments and uh, if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up it uh, helps me out and we'll see you next time